in January via our channels, we've talked a lot about planning for the small business owner. It's the ideal time of year when it has that fresh start feeling to it and people start to think about, okay, what is it that I want to achieve in the year ahead? It's the same for businesses of all sizes. This January, I shared a model called the 17th, and it's based on the model which was created by Philip Kotler, who's often considered the father of modern day marketing. His original theory included four P's, so price, product, place, and promotion. But as we've seen the evolution of business and the introduction of technology, and a lot more movement towards service industries, those seven P's have been expanded. So within the blog, we explored a little bit more about the products and services, what is it that as a business we want to be selling to our customers? Often we might look at our competitors and conduct some research around that particular time frame. Price, how are we going to price our products or service to the marketplace, considering what else is out there and how we compare to that? Place, so how can our, how can our customers find our products or service? Often that's via a website. You could have a retail outlet as well, so if you have a shop or a premises then that would also be something that you might consider at this point in the process. Promotion, so how are you going to take your product or service out to market? There are many different ways that we can do that, from advertising, social media, email marketing, PR, to everything in between that you can think of. People, there's two elements to this. So number one, what do your internal teams look like? What does your structure of your business look like to help you implement your business? And then also you've got your target audience, which is your external factor. And we talk a lot about spending some time on really defining who our target audience is. Once you have that understanding, it underpins all of the rest of your marketing. Presentation is your business branding and your packaging. So what does that look like and how do you connect with your audience? And the final piece is processes. So think about what's the customer journey you want to take people on to help them to engage with your business. But also, what do your internal processes look like? So what's your business development process? You use a CRM solution, for example. So there's lots to think about when planning for the year ahead. We have a lot of resources available and able to work with lots of businesses in a number of different ways. So if you're a small business, you haven't yet got your marketing plan for 2024, I'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch. Talk to you soon. Thank you.